Hey guys, it's Paige Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my favorite iced latte recipe with you. And I figure if any of you guys work from home or just want a delicious iced coffee recipe that you can make on your own, I would share it. So these are the ingredients I begin with and some of them are local and I'll go into detail in all of them throughout this video. But to begin, I have my Rainbow Bloom watercolor tumbler that's so cute. And I have this local brand cocktail mixer a Keurig pod of your choice, and then I have these cute measuring spoons that are actually little matryoshkas that I got as a gift. I love them. So the first thing I do is fill up my tumbler with some ice because it's so hot in Arizona, and I prefer my coffee ice, like an ice latte form, and then I also stick my head in the freezer for a second because it's so freaking hot in Arizona. But then I grab a mug and I make the coffee in here first just because I don't want all my ice to melt right away. So then I'm sticking in my pod and I'm using this black silk Folgers one. Um, you really can use any kind of strong brew and then I also put it on the strong setting in my Keurig so it's extra dark. And then um, I have my cup here full of ice, as you can see, and then I cut off the filming where I poured in the coffee, but I poured that mug of coffee on top of the ice, and then I went in and added a few extra cubes just in case it was melted, and then I grabbed whatever milk I had on hand, shook it up, and poured some in. I don't use a ton because I like my coffee dark, but I gave it a little stir. And then here is that cocktail mixer. It's from a local Phoenix brand called Iconic Cocktail Co. And one of you guys Snapchatted me and told me it would be delicious in coffee, and you were so right. So thank you to whoever told me that. I first added one teaspoon of the mixer, and I don't like super sugary things, and it actually makes my body feel really weird. So I started with one teaspoon and tasted it, and then I ended up with two teaspoons, which was perfect. And there we have our iced latte at home. And I hope you guys will try this. It's super yummy, and I wanted to share, and since it incorporated a cool local brand, I thought it would be fun. So I hope you guys try it at home. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!